5 Reasons Why the Narcissist Will Hate You Forever 5 Reasons Why They Will Always Despise You Why They Will Always Feel Contempt and Deep Repugnance For You When we become aware that someone does not like us, as empaths we assume that we must have said or done something wrong. It makes us reflect on our own behaviour and wonder if we could have done something differently. It makes us feel bad about ourselves. It makes us feel like we are the problem. And it makes us want to try harder to resolve the situation. But no matter how hard you try, you will never resolve anything with the narcissist. They will always hate you and nothing you do will change that. Because your behaviour isn't the problem. It has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. And that is why nothing you do can change their behaviour. So here are five reasons why the narcissist will hate you forever. One, they have a strong sense of entitlement. They believe they have a right to something. They believe they are inherently deserving of privileges and special treatment and they expect you to provide back to them even though they don't have anything to give to you in return. They expect more from you than they expect from themselves. They have the entitlement of a child as though you are their parent. They expect the world from you. They expect to have all of your time, energy or money. And the reason for this is due to their childhood conditioning. They were either spoiled or neglected. And this led them to become very arrogant. It led them to develop an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. It led them to believe that they are special or unique. Which is why they believe they are deserving of privileges and special treatment. They believe that they should have whatever they want from you. But when you can't meet their demands and fulfill their unrealistic expectations, they see it as though it's unfair. They see it as though you are denying them something that they are rightfully deserving of. And that will make them turn against you. It will make them want to deny you of something in return for what they believe you have denied to them. Two, resentment. When you can't meet the narcissist demands and fulfill their unrealistic expectations, they feel like they are being treated unfairly and this will cause them to feel bitterness and indignation towards you. It will cause them to feel anger and annoyance, provoked by what they perceive as unfair treatment. They hold you responsible for their dissatisfaction. They hold you responsible for their discontentment. As though you have an obligation to serve them. As though you are morally accountable for their behaviour. Rather than holding themselves accountable for their own happiness and satisfaction. They depend on you for that because they need your support in order to continue existing or operating. But they have these insatiable desires 
they cannot be satisfied. Rather than going within and identifying why they cannot be happy with anything, they hold you responsible for their emotions. In their minds their feelings are facts. And if they don't feel good that means you must have done something to them or neglected them. They depend on you for their emotional regulation. It's like dealing with a baby that cannot comfort themselves when they are unhappy or distressed. And naturally, you will have your own limitations. There's only so much that you can do for them. You just end up burning yourself out in the end until you have nothing left to give to them. By that point, you can barely sustain yourself because you've gone into your own reserves to provide to them and now there's nothing to keep you going. But narcissists lack empathy. They cannot share your experience. They don't care about how their behavior is affecting you. So if you can't fulfill their unrealistic expectations, they're just going to see it as though you're the problem. They're not going to look themselves and realize that they've just drained the life out of you. They're not going to see it as though you've been treated unfairly. They're going to see it as though you've done something to them or neglected them. And that is why they will become resentful towards you. They will become angry due to their inability to be satisfied with what they already have. Free. Victim mentality. The narcissist will hate you forever because they have a victim mentality. They consider themselves to be a victim of your negative actions. And they will continue to behave as though this is the case, despite contrary evidence of such circumstances. They don't care about the evidence. They don't value logical reasoning. All they care about is how they feel. And if they don't feel good, in their minds they must be a victim of something you are responsible for. They don't take responsibility for their own emotions. They believe that it is justified as a result of their perception of your behavior. They believe that bad things keep happening. And they believe that you are responsible for those things. But any efforts you make to create change will always fail. So there's really no point in trying. Because it's impossible to satisfy the narcissist. And you shouldn't hold yourself responsible for their emotional well-being. You are dealing with someone who is old enough to be responsible for themselves. but they choose to play the victim. They choose to hold you responsible for their unfortunate circumstances. They avoid responsibility for their own lives. They react to their problems and difficulties as though it's not their fault. when these situations should involve their personal responsibility. But even if they do seek a possible solution, it will always be at your expense. It will always cause harm to you or neglect. They cannot seek a solution that is beneficial for you. 
because they only care about themselves. They are self-absorbed and they lack empathy. They have no consideration for you. They experience a sense of powerlessness, which compels them to gain power over you. They will try to gain influence and authority over you to provide themselves with a false sense of safety and security. But even if you do cave into their demands, they lack emotional depth. Their emotional state can change very quickly. They can turn a molehill into a mountain. So this never lasts for long. They will always find something else to hold you responsible for. They will always find another reason to hate you. Four, blame shifting. Deep down the narcissist knows that they are at fault. They know that they have been an inconvenience to you. They know that they have caused problems and difficulties in your life. But they don't want to entertain that idea for long periods of time. They don't want to reflect on it. Because that would mean that they are the problem. That would mean there's something wrong with them. So they push it away. And they look for real or imagined problems that you have caused. They focus on your faults and mistakes. They minimize anything that they are responsible for. And exaggerate anything they believe you have caused. They shift the blame onto you. They are very good liars. They even believe their own lies. They trick themselves into believing that what they're saying is the truth. Until they begin to see you as the cause of all of their problems. They begin to see you as a menace. Someone who is likely to cause danger or harm to them. And it may even cause them to become paranoid and hypervigilant whenever they are around you. They have to see you in this way to protect themselves. To protect their false image. So that they can continue seeing themselves as someone who does not make mistakes. Someone who hasn't done anything wrong. They have a dualistic mentality. They engage in black or white thinking. Where a person is either right or wrong. And if they can justify why you are wrong. In their minds that means they must be right. In their minds that means they must not be at fault. It's either you or them. They either hate you or they're forced to hate themselves. A narcissist cannot deal with shame. They are shame based people who are doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame. And that is why they have to shift the blame onto you. That is why they have to see you as the problem. That is why they will hate you forever. Five. They can't control you. When you do what the narcissist wants you to do, pay attention to how they respond. They might tell you you're amazing. They might even tell you that they love you. But the only thing they really love is when people do what they want. 
Their love is based on conditions. If you don't do what they want, they might even tell you they hate you. As long as the narcissist is able to control you, there won't be many problems. But when you start thinking for yourself, they can't stand it. They don't want you to be a free thinker. They don't want you to make your own decisions. They want to think for you. They want to make decisions for you. When the narcissist loses control of you, that is when they will really begin to hate you. The narcissist is so out of harmony with themselves that their sense of safety and security is dependent on them controlling you. Their emotional stability is dependent on the level of control they have over you. Which is why when you display your own intelligence or independent thinking, it makes them really angry. When you make your own decisions, they can't stand it. Their controlling behavior is the result of their fear, shame and insecurity. As long as they can control you, they don't have to deal with those emotions. But when they lose control of you, it surfaces to their conscious mind. It triggers a narcissistic injury, which will be followed by narcissistic rage. When the narcissist cannot control you, they will hate you forever. Because they can no longer use you to regulate their feelings of fear, shame and insecurity. Which is why your independent free thinking and decision making is a serious threat to the narcissist. It makes them feel insignificant. It has the potential to prevent them from getting what they want, which will always be at your expense. Whenever a narcissist is around a person, all they really care about is getting what they want. You're just an object to the narcissist. You're supposed to do what they want, when they want. You're supposed to fulfill their insatiable desires so that they can relieve their tension and stress. But by doing that, you will be neglecting yourself. You will be throwing yourself under the bus in an attempt to please this unpleasable person. The truth is that whatever you do, the narcissist will always hate you. They will always resent you. Nothing you do will ever be enough for the narcissist. Because the problem was never that you weren't doing enough. They labelled this as the problem to disguise the real issue. Which is their insecurity. Their feelings of shame that they don't want to deal with. Which they expect you to compensate for. But no matter what you do, it will never be enough. You will only end up running yourself into the ground. And by the end of it, the narcissist will turn around and say that you never did anything for them. They will think that you owe them.
instead of trying to please someone who is only going to hate you in the end. Focus on making yourself happy. The narcissist may not be able to comfort themselves, but you can. You can give yourself what you need to be happy. You can sustain yourself. And while the narcissist may call you selfish for doing that, it's only because they can't make you do what they want. It's only because you're no longer under their control. As long as you remain under their control, they won't direct as much of their anger or frustration towards you. But then you will be neglecting yourself. You will never be happy at the expense of someone who also will never find satisfaction in the things that most people are able to enjoy. So take care of yourself. Love yourself. Let the narcissist hate you. Recognize that it is only a projection of their own insecurity. And just keep doing you. The narcissist may try to take you down, but you've just got to keep going. You've just got to keep rising. You can either stop or keep moving. And if you stop, you're going to be left behind. You're going to stunt your own growth and development. You didn't come into this world to be someone's fool. You didn't come into this world to be a doormat for everyone to walk over. Get up and keep climbing higher. Recognize that not everyone can go with you. Just be your best self. And live the life that you deserve. Be the person that you are meant to be. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at Narc Survivor, Dakota UK. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.